All right, as you can see, uh, next video, we're gonna make brownie cheesecake. I know you're all gonna love this. So, um, you're gonna need cream cheese. It's definitely a big thing that's gonna be different. Um, eggs, flour, all that lovely stuff, cocoa powder. Um, we'll go through that here now. Okay, the other thing you're gonna need for this is a mixer of some sort. So whether it's a KitchenAid, hand mixer. Um, if you do KitchenAid, you wanna use the whisk attachment for this. We're going to be measuring everything into our bowl here. Okay, so we're going to start with sugar. Two cups of sugar. Flour. This is one and a fourth cup. There's one. Fourth. Two thirds cup of cocoa powder. Um, I'm using the Kroger's baking cocoa powder. Any cocoa powder work. I also have the Nestle um, cocoa powder. Most cocoa powder is the same no matter what. The thing you don't want is it to be too sweet, especially after we just added two cups. One third, two thirds. So we're making the brownie base first, and then we'll make the cheesecake that goes on top. Next, we will need the baking powder, not baking soda. And we'll want one and a half teaspoon. And last thing is salt. That is half a teaspoon of salt. Everybody got that? Now that we have that, we are going to put it on our mixer, whisk attachment. Okay. Put it on stir. Let it go about 30 40 seconds to break up some anything, any kind of lumps. Helps blend it together really well. About 30 seconds. Next, we're going to be adding our eggs, five eggs that they called for. We're going to add them one at a time and get them nice and mixed in together. So get a bowl. For the first egg. We're going to wait for that for a little bit, probably about 10 to 15 seconds while you're waiting to get the next egg ready. So you want to get it nice and hopefully blend it in really good. Up an egg again about 10, 10 to 15 seconds in between. Get this nice incorporated. Egg number three.
All right, my last one, I'm gonna stop and make sure my sides are scraped really well. in our five eggs. Gonna stop it. Scrape the sides. Next we're gonna add the two sticks of butter that have been melted and cooled. Um, the other thing you can do here is if you want add a half a cup of if you have it baking Crisco. Um, sometimes they come in sticks like this in a can or you can melt and then re uh, and cool the butter itself on the stove or in the microwave. Be careful on the microwave. It does tend to explode on itself. Um, but they're pretty much looking for something soft. So. sides and the bottom really well. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. Okay. I know a lot of you follow the recipe. It'll tell you that in the recipe. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Um, but scrape the sides really good. Get it nice and mixed together. And then we're going to bake it in a tray or a glass baking tray. The size of your baking tray will determine how thick your brownies are. You don't want these super thick. Okay. You're gonna have a cheesecake on top of brownies, which means which means very rich dessert. So you don't want to go crazy and make it super thick. Okay, so mixed pretty well. I'm gonna scrape down both the beater and the sides of the bowl. And last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a half a cup of chocolate chips to this. And then we're going to put it into a sprayed or buttered and floured, whichever you want to go with. Um, spraying is a little easier. I know some of you have parents who bake and they swear by this way or that way. Um, I usually spray. It's just easier. You don't have any flour caked anywhere. You 
avoid that scary, what I call the flower pocket. Flower pocket that can occur. Should be a pale color. Okay, shouldn't be super dark. Should get all the way to the bottom. Should be a little fluffy. Um, not quite as heavy. Shouldn't pour anywhere. Half cup. Half cup chocolate chip. Don't care what kind. Dark, semi sweet, milk. Doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter. I use small. Most of you know that's what we get at school, so we have a lot left at school. So, hey, small home now. Uh, and then we go through and we're just going to stir this in. So, we're going to stir in these chocolate chips. See that? All right. So what we're gonna do next? So we're gonna spray. Okay. If you want to go a little bigger and go thinner, you can. Um, I'm gonna go this size. Um, and into. We're spreading it out. Okay, keep spreading it out. Spread, spread. Okay, what I like to do is I like to wipe it on the edge and then come around and get that last little bit. Um, again, you don't have to get all the tiny little bits, meat pieces of the chocolate. At least get try to get all the chocolate chips. Um, maybe not all the batter. can give it a little shake we're gonna put this in the oven 30 to 35 minutes okay brownies are in the oven you can go ahead and start your cheesecake mix um, you're not gonna put this on though until the brownies are cooled but we can go ahead and make the, I'm gonna show you the mix while my brownies are in and then I will um, show you what it looks like after it's cooled so I've got uh, cream cheese in there. I'm adding the sugar and the cornstarch to this. So as of right now I got the those ingredients in. I'm gonna be using the blender, the blender, <laughs> the mixer. Again, whisk attachment. Okay. You get everything out first. Um, you unwrap your cream cheese, and as you're making your brownie mix, and it'll sit. It should soften by the end of it. If you want to wait till the end, that's fine too. It's just gonna take a little longer to mix. I want to get this nice 
and mix together and incorporate it. Add our vanilla and our lemon juice. Okay, go. So you can go ahead and add those now. It's okay. Wondering, my uh, teaspoon is missing. Those were half teaspoons. So. Two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon lemon. Get that in there, mix it. Okay. Let's stop and scrape down the sides first. Makes it really good. Okay. We're we'll adding two eggs to this. We'll go ahead and get that started. Get our first egg cracked. And we're gonna be just like the brownies, one at a time. Great. Now for each addition. Before I add my first one, I am going to scrape. You'll notice at this point it is nice and creamy. It is more of one solid mixture, not chunks. Okay, you don't see sugar or cornstarch hanging out in the bowl. It's all mixed together. It's very creamy. Got it. Turn it on. To, I have it on two. Add my egg. Okay, I want this to mix all the way in, and then I'm gonna scrape the sides. Okay, I'm waiting, I'll get the next egg ready. And this is why we do this in separate bowls, so we get these shells out. I got one. One little shell. really good. Okay. A lot of stuff hides in these lips down below. that mixed in pretty well so about halfway stop scrape the sides stir
tablespoons of heavy cream. That stir. goat cheese because I like that flavor. Sour cream will be what you put in here. You guys. If you want to do the goat cheese you can. Um, I'm only putting in one tablespoon. We're doing sour cream two tablespoons. Okay. Either way, goat cheese, sour cream, you want to add a little punch to it, that's what that does. For the flavor. So I've taken the brownies out. They've cooled. Got them out of the pan. Um, if you have trouble getting them out of the pan, use this metal spatula to get the sides. And then you just take a cutting board and put it on top and flip the whole thing over and it comes out um, just to get it out. Um, and then the top fell off, which I'm not really worried about because I've I made it too thick anyways. So I'm just cutting off with a serrated knife a good layer of it anyways. And I'm going to put it back in the pan put the cheesecake on um, the so it's not that big a deal that we're taking this off okay one you'll have something extra to eat if you do this um, if you don't want if you want to try to avoid this altogether get use a bigger pan I did not it's okay because what we're gonna do it's not gonna matter anyways so we're cutting that off Okay, so we want to be a little bit thinner and we want to be um, a nice level surface. Back into our pan. All these little goodies we can save for later. Is it good? Yeah, good. Okay. okay. And then what we're going to do next, so we're going to take our mixture that we made earlier. Spatula. We're gonna put a layer of this on top and you can put it all okay you're gonna preheat your oven to 325 and we're gonna put this in for about 45 to 50 minutes. You want it to brown on top, you want it to be a little um, 
jiggly. Uh, the way you can tell if you need to cut it down is if you were to add this into the pan, it can't go over the top. Everybody got that? And then we just are gonna make sure that it's nice and even throughout. Which. And then I'm gonna take it, give it a little shake. Down. What we're doing there is we're getting some bubbles out. Okay. Into the oven for 45 to 50 minutes. Nice and brown on top, pretty firm and stiff. Okay, it's baked uh, about 45 minutes, uh, or 55 minutes. And there's what it looks like right now. You'll notice the browning on the edges. It's a little bit of a, instead of a white, it's more of a uh, brownish cream color. Um, right along the insides and then I will tilt it up a little bit you can see a nice line separation we will let this chill um, to room temperature uh, for about 20 minutes and then into the fridge for overnight um, it'll be ready to cut in the morning for me um, it makes it easier if you do this it needs to be in the fridge for at least an hour um, and I will cut it and plate it for you um, after it's sat in the refrigerator. Okay, so our uh, brownie cheesecake sat overnight. Um, we are going to cut it. Two ways to get it out. Uh, we'll see if this works. <laughs> I have a metal spatula and I have a really skinny spatula. Okay, um, and I'm gonna plate it. I'm gonna drizzle it with caramel sauce. You can buy it already made. Um, if you wanna know how to make it, um, you can look it up or I can do a video, you just let me know. Um, chocolate sauce would be another one. Drizzle all over the top. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first cut. Okay. You want it to look pretty. Wipe your knife every time you cut it. If you want to cut a little cleaner, get your knife hot. Okay, we're doing squares. Make sure you're getting all the way to the bottom of that brownie mix. Remember in uh, Culinary school, the one thing they always said was the hardest part is getting the first piece out. So, we will attempt to get the first one out. this there's the cheesecake <laughs> this brownie does not want to come up I know not looking the prettiest but that's okay like I said first piece My sous chef told me the first piece is always the hardest to get out. But once you got it out, you are free to do the next piece, which we will do that instead. Plus I made mine really thick, so. That's okay. So we got this piece out. We 
see that. And there you go. Brownie cheesecake with a caramel topping.